Sorry, Olive. <laughs> she didn't love it. My apologies to Olive. She didn't love it. Olive, I didn't mean it. Don't look away from me, but I'm apologizing to you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I want you to know that I only did the bebe be intro because you in the chat were doing the bebe be intro already. And so I wanted to be involved. I saw it and I wanted to get involved. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for the shirt compliments for both of us. Julia's shirt's got tigers on it. You know, you know when you're in. No, <laughs> no, we were having so much fun. <laughs> no, and this is, we're doing this now. You know, you know when, <sighs> you know, you know when you can't. All is leaving. <laughs> Olive is literally leaving. <laughs> oh, she's actually she's getting closer. She's like, she's already, like, oh, let me hear this joke. Let me hear this really. Good I got to get in for this one. You Everyone know, in chat is saying a small private room. <laughs> you know when? Yeah. You know you're looking for, to have like a moment, right? When I'm okay. <laughs> when I'm looking to have a moment, okay. Yeah, like a like a. Like a moment between you and someone else and just the two of you because you really want to ask a very a very big, important question, but you don't want to do it publicly because public ones are weird. Okay. Right? You're talking about like a proposal? Yeah. So, um, finally, you find a small private room. <laughs> Yeah. That's like a little set yeah. into the into the you know ground level. Okay, sure. And um then then you get to ask the question. <laughs> uh-huh. And you you um then you get to show off uh your <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Your <laughs> Yeah. That's when you show your uh <laughs> What are you showing? What are you going to show? I'm worried about what you're going to show. The ring. Uh -huh. But since yes. you're in a small private room, it's an Elden ring. That's the same joke. That's the same joke you made last time. No, I didn't. I said uh, with the phone. But the, the proposal has nothing to do with the joke. It has everything to do with the joke. The punchline is still El Den Ring because <laughs> yeah. it's in the den, which you refer to as the small private room. But then I'm talking about the ring that you used to propose to someone. That then, because of the context of the room you're in, is an El, El Den Ring. <laughs> you know when... No, we're playing the game. <laughs> you know when... I don't know when. You order food. I don't know when. You know when you order food... No, I don't know when. And the delivery guy calls, and that's that's when your din ring. You like your dinner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, check out. My big hammer. <laughs> Does my big hammer frighten you? It is frightening, yes. We, we played around with the two swords and that was fun while it lasted, but it's time to get back to the real shit. God, you look like, you're like a big tin man with a huge hammer. Um, it's time to get back to the, this is, this is our roots right here. We're going back to what we know. This is a part of us. This is in our blood. Bonking. Bonk of war. And doing this. Whee! 
This is important to us. So we're going to be bonking today. And where are we summoning first? We're summoning right here. We're starting with a summon this time. Whoa! We if you are in. Ready, that's on you. Celia Hideaway. Drop your signs in Celia Hideaway. I drop the sign. In Celia Hideaway, I drop the sign. Ring is demanding. Look at this right here. That's literally guts. That's Guts Berserk himself. That is literally Guts Berserk. We're summoning up the man himself, Guts Berserk. I'm so excited to see you. I can't believe we have a celebrity on the stream. Cat Nero, you don't like Marvel, but I've gotten you addicted to Marvel Snap. Same for me. I don't like Marvel, but I'm addicted to Marvel Snap. Jacob said that he wanted to make snap fan art but it would just be marvel snap uh fan art yeah i was like oh i should make marvel snap fan art and then i was like wait that's just marvel fan art yeah and i don't want to like, make I don't that. that yes guts berserk wait guts berserk do you also do this do you also do that oh show me if you do it you don't do it the same way damn I hate to tell Sad. you. Sad. Lieutenant Turd! Guts Berserk and Lieutenant Turd, finally! <laughs> together. Great. Hi, Olive. Lieutenant Turd. So I know, so we're here if I can remind you last time. <clears throat> Hello, Lieutenant oh Turd. Oh my god, the outfit. Hello, Lieutenant Turd. Welcome. Beautiful. Um, we're here looking. So remember we found that sorcerer guy that was covered in crystals? Yes. And then we went to Selen and she was like, oh, I know that guy. And then she's like, you got to find the other one of that guy. Yeah, yes. And so then that's what we're here to do is we're, we're here nap. to find the other one of that guy. We're here to take a nap on the floor. And we'll also complete the dungeon while we're at it. Do the thing with your feet where you form like the star. Oh yeah, that would be yeah. cute, wouldn't that it? That would be cute. Um, I know that there's like multiple illusory walls in this one, so get ready for that, Julia. Oh, I'm so excited. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm looking. Because I remember we have to go, I don't remember like this entire place, I just remember we have to go through multiple illusory walls. I'm sneaking. They'll never know. Well. They know. Turd just blasted that guy. I think one of them is like pretty soon. But I don't fully remember. We'll we'll get there. I think it's it's through this. This would make sense, wouldn't it? Whoop. Nice. Hello. You can't a sneak hit with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's very sneaky. It's a sneaky weapon. I like those two doors because they're like, there's going to be a lot of illusionary, illusionary doors here. You better watch out. That's what that's teaching you. Yeah, it is. So this place is like Crystal Town. It's like Amber Crystal Town. Amber Crystal. Hello. We don't need that. Here. We go. And I know we, we're going down. I'm going down at least. I don't. Oh God, no. Oh God, no. Please, not like this. The hands. God, help me. God, help me. You goofed. Oh, thank oh. God. Thank you, Lieutenant Turd. Turd blasted the centipede. That's the worst enemy in the game. Yeah. If you're alone, you just die. That's it for you. He just like fists of the, the North heck? Stars. Are those flashlights? Oh, they're bugs. Oh, that's cute. What is this? A little silver firefly. I think we're supposed to be going the other way, actually. Whatever, we'll get there. We're going to go through it all in time. Snails! I missed. Damn, they didn't miss though. 
They sure didn't. Couple of killing machines. No! Are you alive? Yeah, what? <laughs> ow, ow, ow! What the hell? From beyond the grave. Okay, I think we go this way. Up over here. Could this be correct? I believe so. Or is this where we came from? This is where we came from, isn't it? Yeah, I'm stupid. But I think it's right. I think this is right. I think we go this way. Jacob, did you listen to the new Fall Out Boy song yet? No. Did you listen to the new Fall Out Boy song? I sure did. And? It feels like they never left. Feels like Fall Out Boy? It feels, I'm like, if you told me that song came out back when we were in high school, I would have been like. Okay, this is incorrect, yeah. clearly. What happened to Turd? Turd's probably in the right place. Hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. So girl. does it sound like Fallout Boy from when we were in high school, or does it sound like Fallout Boy from, you know, like two years ago? It feels like Fallout Boy from high school with a little tweak. With a little tweak. It feels, I don't know, it, it's just like... There's Turd. Oh, that's where we're headed, too. Sorry, go ahead. It's just, um... I don't know, it's like, you know, it's silly, it's fun, it's Fallout Boy. It's silly, it's fun, it's Fallout Boy. Congratulations, Turd. Good job, Turd. All right, Joy, are you gonna have to sit in my lap for this entire stream? I wouldn't let Joy into the bathroom and I think she's upset with me about it. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is what Selen gave us the seal breaker for. To break the seal. And locate Lusat. Here he is. Isn't and that he's, that vampire? he's doing good. No, it's not a vampire. The vampire. You're thinking Lestat. Oh. Oh, man. Here you go. I got a spell for you. Joy's just staring at you. Joy, I can't pet you all the time. <laughs> I have to do other things sometimes. No. I like that he's just laying in this crystal and that he's like Howl when Howl's moping and sick. Does he lay in a crystal when he's doing that? No, he's laying in that room that's like full of crystals. Oh, you're really full of crystals. You know that? Oh, and now we're back. We're back here. There's a boss to this place, right? Where's the boss to this place? Am I wrong in thinking that there's a boss to this place? Lieutenant Turd, do you know where the boss is? Follow the turd. Oh, this way, Lieutenant Turd. Thank you, Turd. Turd knows ah! how to navigate some oh God. tunnels and pipes. Stop. That was a good one, Julia. Thank you. Are we doing a jump, Lieutenant Turd? We jumping over? Did I make you fall? I made him fall. I'm assuming it's this way. Oh, Stake of America. That's a good sign. That means we're about to get into it. Into the business. Do you think it's gonna be one of those with no fog gate? We just like walk in and it's like, boss summoned. A lot of crystals in here. It's pretty. Whoop. Yeah! That snail did not stand a chance. No, no snail stands a chance against me. Oh, that snail was alive. Thank you, Lieutenant Turd. And my finest soldier. And 
learned from the farm. Lieutenant Turd. Lieutenant Turd. I could always count on him. And Guts Berserk was there too. Okay, <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> Oh, there's the foggy fog. Hey, I see you. It's a little, little flippy. You thought you could fool me, huh? Oh, God. Stop it. All right, let me, um... Grant me strength. Punch your chest. Grant me drink. What's going on back there? Let's traverse the mist. What are we fighting in here? Oh, it's three Crystallians? What the heck? Oh, no. Well, there's three of you, ain't there? Bro, stop stabbing. Scarlet Rot! Hold on. Hold on. No, dude. No, dude. Flame, cleanse me. Flame, please. Flame, cleanse me. <laughs> Just cleanse me. Don't cast on me. Don't cast on me. Drink. Berserk! Guts! Take care of yourself, Guts. Get his ass. Okay, we gotta we gotta take care of you, you piece. Stop. If you think about Stop. it, the guts makes the turd. Dude, I'm so scared way. of this guy. I can't imagine why. Spear is gone. Nice guts. Getting away. He's spinning! <laughs> oh, I like the noise he makes. Oh! Don't rot me. Nice. It's a lot of lava. You always gone upside down and take a flap. Oh, you grouped oh, them we together. Nice. got him now. Yeah! Yes, boys! Look at him! Yes, boys! I'm gonna take a picture of this and post it on the Twitter. Excellent work. Good job, team. This is what Jacob has to work with. Gotta hit you with this. Good job, guts and turd. Team Healthy Bowels. Lovesick said my stats aren't high enough for this weapon. Oh, aren't they? Well, the, it's even higher right now because of, uh, because I'm still juiced up, but my strength is 40 because I respect because I'm not like incredibly stupid. <laughs> I'm pretty stupid, but I'm not that stupid. He has played the game once, twice, three times, the champion. Oh, Tin Beard says I was Guts Berserk. Guts Berserk, thank you. How was the weapon doing so little? We were fighting the Crystallians. All weapons do little until they you break their armor, and then you do a lot. Or it's entirely possible as well that I was swinging it one-handed accidentally at some point. Oh ah. my God. Where did they come from? You piece. They were just standing there menacingly. How's that for damage? Stone club. I'm gonna cry her little face. It's very cute. Yeah. This is Jacob's every day. All the time. All I'm day, every day. Okay, we're going back to selling. And we're selling her some information about what we've found. Whoa. Whoa. Selen. Hello. Eat Meow Thanks. says, I'm in one chair with Give one Give me beer. a moment later. I have a favor to ask. Okay. I love her accent. Is it Welsh? I think it is. I think nice. people were telling, were telling and saying that. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy shackles prevent it being moved. 
My body is on the Weeping Peninsula My at the body. southern tip of the lands between. Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marica, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Um, tell me about this request a little more, please. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the site. Okay, I already got all that. My That's body fine. is an old sponge. <laughs> Yoda, my body. It's an old sponge. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about Lusat's location while I'm location. Lusat's location. <laughs> Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please take it. What is it? So it's a starlight shards. Dang it. It's a one starlight shards. This brings us which is a pretty shitty gift. Yeah. The bodies of masters Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. I'm gonna go handle that right now, Selen. Don't you worry. Why you got these shackles on, girl? Why are you shackled? Maybe we should find out before we unshackle her. No, we're gonna unshackle her straight away. Not even gonna worry about it. All right. <clears throat> the great Suzo said, I'm confused because she appears to have a body, <laughs> but that's not the right one. That's a fake one. That's a false bod. You mean to tell me that is a mere projection? I'm telling you that's a mere projection. And a body is elsewhere? That's what I'm saying. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I, I cannot um, believe it. I did take that turtle down. The mausoleum turtle. What the hell? <laughs> I did that earlier today. I needed a lot of runes. Don't. You don't want to do this. I needed I a lot of runes hands. to upgrade this hammer as much as I did. And so I had to copy Radon's remembrance and then and then eat it. Witch Bane ruins. The hell's popping up there. It's a, gonna be a ball of heads. Oh, ball of heads! I love the ball of heads. I also love that like weird animatronic bow and arrow guy. I love cramming my horse down <laughs> down <laughs> into the cave. Hi, Olive. Oh my God, Jacob. Olive, there's nowhere for you to go. We're streaming. Come here, sweetie. I have two hands. I can pitch you with the other one. This one that's holding up the cable so you can get on my lap. Don't ask. Oh, she got Spidey man. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Sella and then we'll run ads. My apprentice, thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> I was in the middle of a conversation. Sorry, ma'am. My apprentice. <laughs> yeah, try again. Start over. <laughs> These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glintstone. A star has fallen, and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life, and so I entrust it with you, myself. When you get the last good bagel at the bagel place and you're convinced everyone's gonna kill you for it. <laughs> Take it. Take my primal bagel. People may come after my life. Joy, are you moving? What are you doing? I accept your primal glintstone. Oh man, you're Indiana Jonesing her. All right, you don't have to be so dramatic about it. I got Selen's primal glintstone. <laughs> you temple of doomed her. Oh. Thank you, my apprentice. This is my essence. Please, treat it with care. Treat it with care, my apprentice. 
What you hold is my very being. Yeah, I'll put it next to all the other crap in my pocket. Yeah, I got it in there. Let's see. Where is it? Is it in here? Next to all my spores. Oh, here scrolls. it is. It's right next to my black knife print and my Celibus's introduction. And my Lord of Blood's favor. You next know, the, the cloth that's dyed in a maiden's blood? <laughs> I got a beast eye in here. I got some amber draft. A little celestial dew. It's my icky pocket. Don't worry about it. It's safe in there. She's not dead. She's still um, breathing. Okay, ads are about to start. We'll switch to webcam. And uh, we're going to run the ads. And then we'll get back to playing. And I'll read the subs. Joy, have you considered going somewhere else? Joy, have you considered going somewhere else? Do you? Is that a consideration that you have? Have I done the upside down dungeon yet? No, not yet. That place is cool. Do you have enough room to go down? Or are you just being annoying? Ads starting soon. Go ahead, ads, whenever you're ready. People yelling outside. Hey, welcome to New York. Okay, ads, whenever you're ready. Go ahead, take it away. Whenever you're ready, ads. Go ahead. Okay, there they go. Yeah, they took their time. All right, let's check our subs. We got subs from Lotad Queen, Imunia, Maximum Cowboy, Six Traffic Cones with Syrup, Olivia Nava, Empty Attic, Pate Like, Omnipotent Wombat, Miravalier, Goat Radish, not Laura W24, Kukorvid gave out five gifted subs, thank you. Squessy, Ides of Starch, Kit Kinetic, Squirt Cats, Pipo Boos, Osolot Obsidian. I know it's Osolot Obsidian, but every time I read it like letter by letter and I, my brain goes, Osolot Obsidian. Like it's a Star Wars character. Yeah. Cat Nero 8, Asymmetricon, a hot gay robot, clean rat and grape eggy. Seme42, Angie Allen, X Toxic Bucket. <laughs> sha, 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 sha. Samus Crank Pork, Bug Mellow, Real Lord Gwen Vivo. <laughs> Gave out 10 gifted subs. <laughs> That's good. Skatey Pippin, Woe 10 Spack, Cyril on DL, 13. Skeel Pad D8. Sucks at naming. The Real EB Wall Mouse. The Plan of Attack, the Quad Glazer 43. Ire Sprite gave out five gifted subs. It Me Nanners, Mathematical Gay, Thomas the Turbo Brick, Mechatrans Riggs, Linden Arm, Noodle Moodle, Professor Rad gave out five gifted subs. Max Trance 27, Revocador, Fozzy, AV2 Box, Cepheus, Twinkle a Dink and Dinkalicious, The Creed 234, AV Athena, Sands from Digimon Survive, Action Bear Snake Jackson, Arlana 765, Cookbook for Stars, Grim Witch Mimic, Das Gut, Unbelievable, The One Hypnotic, Augie T and the FPG gave out 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Augie. Oats and Henny, The Frog House, Hooker Queen, Fine Sunny Day, Semi Interested, Ched Bear, Lisbon Viking, Newt, 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 Pierce FC9, The Fruit Bat, Toasted Toasters, Psy double O X gave out five gifted subs. And that's all for that. Let's see if there's any new ones that came in. Sure are. New subs from Chimimel, Cat Dad 93, Change My Name Mesa Jacob, Cozy Dragon Art, Mick Awesome, Dorkivore, A Sour Save. Velis Veridi gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Mal Reynolds 89. And Minion Bus Drive Me Nuts. Thank you so much, everyone. Appreciate the subs. Our cats are truly going around right mm -hmm. now. You can see Joy right here. I wonder if Joy like wants scoopy, water scoopy, from scoopy, the scoopy, sink scoopy, or something. Scoopy, 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 scoopy. Cause she's not like reacting to my pet. Oh no, there she goes. She's reacting to the pets. A Sour Savage, your first stream. Thank you for joining and thank you for subscribing on your first stream. We really yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, thank you that. so much. 
very generous of you. What's up, sweetie? What's up, my little joy? Cat, cat, cat. Ads are over. We're back in the game. So now we have to uh, reload. And we're going to see a familiar face has arrived. There's a lot of familiar faces it could be. The maidenless guy. The guy who's like, go maidenless, I see. You're thinking Vare. Little worm. What does he call us? <laughs> Lambkin. Precious worm. Oh. Precious worm. This guy, the Radon Festival man. Oh, yeah. Is here now. Ah. Oh. Well met. I hardly expected to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Rhea Lacaria's academy. Damn. That's, that's a lot. It is strange though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually in another body. Haha, <laughs> no. Second in thought, but one that won't stop gnawing at me. That's so crazy that you would think that. I don't have anything that would lead to that. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll be selling again. <laughs> I'm sure no one took her primeval essence and is holding it in their pocket next to their other knickknacks. It doesn't know where a bunch of dolls are. I suspect Selen lives on. I'm sure she'll t a sickening. So this dude's just here to give you exposition. Do we see him again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because he came here and killed her. Oh, yeah, okay. Why is it that we found her and then he found her? You know what I mean? It's kind of suspicious. What's the quinky dink there? You follow us? Anyways, Jaren, um, I got to go to where there's a puppet of Selen. Don't worry, though. It's not to to put her into a new body or anything. That would be crazy. Anyways, Jaren. It was it Jaren? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Can I call you Jaren? I'll see you later. Can I call you Jer? I got a doll I got to go fetch. It's not, it's not related, Jaren. It's my own thing, okay? I'm a doll pervert, like Celibus. Don't you put us in the same category as Celibus? Although his outfit was good. That's the only thing he had going for him. Yeah. Those are sweet robes. Hoi! Joy, we never hang out anymore. Whoa, a selling puppet. That's so weird. You're going to put her in there and she's going to be like, where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, no, this looks like a pervert's den. <laughs> a small private room. This puppet is covered in all manner of goop. <laughs> what is this goop? Oh. Anyway. I'm going to transplant primal gladstone if you don't mind. Great. Hi. My apprentice. Just hey, your apprentice, girl. Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice, I owe this all to you. Why? Why? Cats, please stop going around. <laughs> These cats won't stop going around. Finally, I can return to the academy to expel the Carian royal family and restore the primeval current. Is Renala a Carian? 
She's a carry in my heart, if you know what I mean. Hey, hey. look at you. All right, well. Who's stomping? Yeah, when you're upstairs neighbor. It's the, neighbor it's the dragon. Her. He's a horrible upstairs neighbor. He just stomps around. Time to go check in on the grand library. See what Selen's oh, no. up to in here. Yeah, Renala's the carrion queen. There she is. I love this lady. One of my favorite ladies. I thought Selen was supposed to come here right now. Do I need to quit? She was selling you some lies. Hey. Selen, you literally said you were coming here. Outside the door. Just like love. Joy, I just, I just wish you weren't sitting here. That's all. I have no good place to put my hands. Let me turn on my little nightlight. That's right, there's two summon signs. We can either challenge Selen and side with Jerry, or we can assist Selen and fight Jerry. For our purposes, we're gonna be assisting Selen. I'm not crazy about Selen. And fighting Jerry. Just because there's not, you get more rewards from doing this and there's not anything further to this quest line if you okay. assist Jerry. I'm worried about my girl. Other than Jerry time. just being like, cool, thanks. Bye. Jerry's gonna get bonked. I didn't know if you were gonna summon people for that. I, didn't I don't think could. I can. Mm. No, you're standing where she stood. Hello, Jerry. Selen, you cast it a little too fast there. Yeah, what a whiff. Join the school. Never turn your back on me, Jerry. You fool! Welcome to hell. I'm coming. I'm so close, Jerry. You can only dodge for so long, Jerry. Oh! Damn. Get out of here, Jerry. Selen is cool, we're good. <laughs> she was still squaring up. And we get his armor set immediately. which I'm pretty stoked to put on most of. No, where's my girl? Eccentrics armor. I'm gonna wear your clothes. I'm gonna wear your clothes. I'm gonna wear your clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna wear your clothes. I'm a little freak. You I'm a like little a, freak. a carnival clown with the big bonk hammer. I'm a little carnival freak. Hello, Selen. Do you want to do the thing that I discovered? Yeah, so Julia actually discovered this on her own time. Yeah. In this part where Selen is here and Renala is missing, you can actually find Renala. She's hiding around somewhere. We have to locate her. Is she like in by one of these curtains? I know she's like... She's like hidden. Here she is. Yeah. Where did ye flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. Of the dark, be not afeard. My beloved egg is with us. Come out, I prithee. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to yet again be born anew? No. She's still sitting on her cradle. I'm not afeard. I would birth thee 
Asus. I know you would. We, we've already done it several times. <laughs> so they keep changing my stats. I'm glad that she's still here, but she is hiding from Selen. Yes, since Selen wanted to do a big murder on her. Yes, and she does not want to be murdered. Ah, my apprentice. You've saved my skin once again. Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. Well, With the bodies well, of masters have you looked like a little to your left? <laughs> and like a roundish elf. Primeval current, so that we, fallen children of the stars, shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the Academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling to be the next Elden Lord. Yeah. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I, no, the entire Academy will swear allegiance to the new monarch, my apprentice. Become Elden Lord. Hmm. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the Academy's. Oh, thank you for the Chris. It's a lovely Chris. Do you see what we're using though? It's not quite my style. It's a little different than what I'm usually about, but I appreciate it nonetheless. You know, and your friends have a bunch of hobbies that you don't really know anything about, so you just get them something. Yeah, like maybe they want a dagger. Yeah, maybe I'll want one of these. Do you recall what once I told you? That glinstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars yeah. and the life therein. Mm -hmm. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which course the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. Oh, one last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, <coughs> always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. Damn. You calling me a dull pupil? You don't even have shoes on, girl. What's dull about me? What about me is dull? I noticed that her head crystals are different than her dead corpse that's locked up in the prison. Because when she tilts her head down in the prison, she's got that like crystal vagina on her head. Yeah. This one, she just got like a little... Well, these like, look like the crystals that were growing out of uh, Primeval Sorcerer Azur's head. Oh, right. I was and thinking it looked like the Oz from the Wizard of Oz. Well, y yes, it does. But in the context of the game, it's the same crystals, the Primeval Crystals. Yeah. That overtook Azur and Lusat when they like gave themselves to Primeval Magics. I have two questions. Yeah. One, what's in that treasure chest? We can't open that yet. Two, why do they wear the statue I'll show you. heads? See, it's locked. All the sorcerers wear this like concrete statue head. The heads like, are the all faces. like, are all like um, visages of like some of the founders of the school. Oh, okay. And there was like more reasons too, but I don't remember. I literally just watched the Vati Vidya, Vidya, Vidya. about the sorcerers and he talked about why they wear the masks, but I don't remember now what he said. Okay. Someone in chat, I'm sure will say. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to do a quick, uh, frog house said it's to one signify what school they belong to and two to press the glint stone to their skull. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Cause they have different, um, there's a bunch of different heads they wear. And that represents like their like oh, affiliation affiliation within the school. Got it. But there's like multiple types of Burger King. Oh, okay. There's like a blindfolded one. Mm -hmm. There's like there's a, the two. There's the two one. Uh, okay, so we're gonna rest. Renal is back. Hey Renala, good to see you. Oh, what's that? I see Selen's made some changes. Hey, Renala, what's that? Hey, Renala? Oh. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
my friend. I, I... I've become Orb. Damn! Did Renella get her ass? She, uh, she got her own ass. She, she did the classic FromSoft mistake of, um... Becoming too obsessed. Digging too deep into forces beyond your control. Damn. And, um, and she orbed. Can you knock it around like a, like the ball in Rocket League? <laughs> <laughs> they should make this a skin, a ball skin in Rocket League. Yeah. That would be amazing. I'm obsessed with the, the, the ball of faces. And so I'm glad that we get to see it because usually we just run away from it. Yeah. Or kill it. So good. But you can see the different types of faces on it, too. Yeah. Oh, look, there was a selling face back there. I was going to say, where's she? There she is. When you talk to it, does she speak from that? I don't think any of the mouths move. Because it's they're all made of rock, after mm, all. Right. All right, I guess she didn't move her mouth. No. Before, anyway. But we did get her head which increases intelligence and arcane to the detriment of stamina. So we won't be using it, but this is what we could look like if we did use it, which Damn. is pretty good, honestly. But I'm not willing to take a detriment to my stamina. Speaking of Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, am I right? You're so right. We can also wear the cell of his hat. Looking like a astrological farmer. I love that in the, the cell of his hat, he is the center of the universe. Like he is the sun with which all of the planets. Yeah. Around which all of the planets revolve. All right, we're going back to round table hold. Do the erudition um, emote while wearing the stone head. What, what does that do? Does that do something? I'm just gonna hit the wrong buttons forever. Erudition, erudition, erudition. You had erudition. Erudition. Top left. Erudition. Ah! Whoa! I never knew. That's amazing. We're like a little beacon. What a fun little touch. That's so cute. Does Lady not comment on Orb? No, Renala's sort of um She's a little She's out not of all mind. there. She just uh <sighs> says the same things. She's kind of obsessed with rebirth only. Me not. And I would but She's like convinced that her precious daughter is dead and just became obsessed with egg. Yeah. She's all about the egg, not orb. Correct. So we need to buy Radon's armor. Content warning, two fingers. Content warning, fingers. Two gross fingers. We're not interacting with the fingers though. We need to receive equipment of champions and we need to receive Radon's lion armor. For a good reason because we are about to finally continue Bach's quest line. Hey! We're gonna talk to Bach. Hell yeah. Ew, 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 ew. That's how I feel every time we see those fingers. <laughs> Even though it's been like, in game, it's been like weeks since um, Melano was like, hey, Bach really wants to talk to you. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. That's me for real though. Whenever I'm like not ready to talk to someone about something and I know it's gonna come up the next time I talk to them, they're like, you really should talk. I'm like, yeah, just like, I know, I know. Just give me like a moment. So here he is. Good to see you, master. Do you uh, remember me? The Bok, the demi-human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Yeah, I remember. Master. Allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. 
can't make patterns. It's fair. Did you see it? Whoa. Master, did you see it? The, the herb tree. I, oh, I don't really have the words for this, but I was so, so dazzled. I felt something stir in my breast. The herd tree is waiting for you, master. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Don't tell me. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. I'm sorry. Master, my apologies. Your wardrobe includes the garb of the old demigods, and I'm afraid I can't make adjustments to them. <laughs> My mum told me once that a royal seamster would do them up in a jiffy. Just wait, master. Before long, I'll be that good too. Hey, I noticed you suck at Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> he said it very politely. Bach, I feel like this is going to help you uh, alter my demigod wardrobe. Please take the gold sewing needle. Is that a gift for my undeserving self? Thank you kindly. But what on earth could it... Oh, what amazing. I've never seen a golden needle. Not in all my life. With a spectacular royal crest to boot. Are you certain that this is for me? Oh, I can hardly believe it. Have faith in me, master. I'll polish my craft enough that I deserve this golden gift. I'll be the golden seamster, Bok. Now I'll be able to sew anything, even the threads of the demigods. This game has a lot of like, all of their characters are either, are either like, I will become a god or I am a god. Go in the, please. Or I deserve uh, to live in the dirt, sir. <laughs> Eating poo-poo and bugs. I would dig out a bed from the dirt with my bare hands and my teeth, sir. It's what I deserve. It's what I deserve, sir. And then you have the third character who's like, I live in the dirt and I like it. <laughs> I like yeah. to roll around in it. It's wonderful to feel it on my skin. I only consume bugs. <laughs> I, I eat bugs and bugs. poop. It's delicious. I eat the bugs. I poop the bugs. <laughs> and I then eat I eat the, the poop. poop. <laughs> the crunch is um, yum, 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 yum. I want to make you eat the poop too. <laughs> Everyone deserves to taste the bug poop. Uh, so I should be able to talk to Melina. Maybe it's not here. Maybe I have to go. I know there's a dialogue I can have with Melina, but I'm trying to remember where exactly it is. I think it might be like over here. The fourth guy is just Patches. No, Patches is the guy who's like, I live in the dirt, I eat the dirt, and I love the bugs. Oh, I guess Melina already left, didn't she? So I can't talk to her. Dang it. Um, there's a dialogue with Melina that I missed, which is that she tells you that she's heard Bach crying. Oh. It, like at night and saying that he misses his mom. Oh, Bach. And this is a, this is a, like a, a clue and a hint for something we're going to have to do here. Bok the seamster at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. I have a favor to ask. Master, may I ask you something? Would you mind if I called you Lord? I heard that you and the other tarnished seek the throne of the Elden Lord. Well, I know that you will be the one and you'd make just the manner of kind-hearted lord that I'd wish for. 
So please, if you would, allow me to call you Lord. You may call me Lord. You don't say. Thank you. Thank you. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Please become <laughs> Elden Lord. And please let I, Bok the Seamster, remain at your side. We got the my lord gesture. All right, next dialogue. Surely she'd be happy for you. Do you think that mum would be pleased if she knew that I'm as good as any royal seamster now? Oh, it's still not enough. I need to learn how to sew from scratch like her. Do you want us to send you like a school? Do you want an online class? All right, then we've got, have you ever thought so? My lord, have you ever wished you might be born again? God, no. Well, they say that Renala of Rhea Lucaria has the power to help people be reborn. I don't know who that oh. is. Me? Reborn? Oh, look at me. When you're this ugly, well, being reborn, it would hardly make a difference, I'm afraid. So at this point, you can give Bach a larval tear, which is the item that lets you get reborn mm -hmm. at Renala, mm -hmm. so that Bach could go to her and also get reborn. Mm -hmm. But we have the great rune of Renala, mm -hmm. which is the only thing that lets us survive the rebirth process. Oh. Going um, so I'll show you if we look in, uh, I don't remember where the great runes go. Are they in like key items? Great rune of the unborn used to perfect rebirth. Amber egg clutched by Renala, queen of the full moon, perfects those who have been born anew. Children born anew by Renala are all frail and short-lived, imperfect beings each and all. This is like the, the tattoo design that someone in a late 90s movie would have if they were like non-binary, but we didn't have a term for non-binary really in the 90s. So we're like, I'm a future person. And everyone goes, whoa. And they like have it on their arm and they're like, I'm alt. <laughs> this is a crazy comparison you've drawn. My name is alt. But I understand what you're saying. And I'm alt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. It's just wild. I mean? It's just it's just a wild thing, but it's true. <laughs> That's so accurate. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So if you're playing the game and you've read this, you would probably have a hint not to mm -hmm. give Bach a larval tear because he'd be frail and short-lived, which is not what you want. Um, but there's another item we've got that's important. The prattling pate, you're beautiful. And if you read the description for it, it says, twisted clay sculpt in the shape of a demi-human head emits a voice that says you're beautiful. A wistful fetish that imparts voices and words on an eternal journey. Fetish in the sense that it's like a little icon, not that it's like a sexual fetish. Yeah. Unconditional love, unrestrained assurance. It must have been a mother speaking. So this is your clue when it says it must have been a mother speaking. And then you've heard that Bach was crying and he misses his mother. It's your clue that you need to use the prattling pate. I wasn't ready to cry today, Jacob. Prepare to cry. You're beautiful. So we hit him with that. Bok the seamster. Ready to make it. And then we get I heard a voice. Did I just hear my mum speaking? Thank you very much. Mum was always the only one who said I was beautiful. And now, my dear Lord, let me hear her voice. Oh, please, if I may dream just once, do you feel the same way my mum did, my Lord? You think I'm beautiful despite <laughs> these looks? That's right. That's absolutely right, Bob. Yes, 100%. <laughs> oh. My lord, my dear lord, I, Bok the Seamster, am forever in your service. May the throne of Elden Lord be yours. 
going on? And that's Box quest line. He doesn't die. He he accepts himself. And he stays with you as your seamster. He's one of the few characters in the game that with, was a, a good with, a, with a happy ending to his quest line. What the hell? Bach is safe now. We My have, son is correct. We have reached the end of Bach's quest line. Oh, I love it. Isn't that nice? It's we such a nice one. We actually helped someone. Yeah. Sorry, Joey. I am going to unequip this prattling pate so that I don't accidentally go to it in combat and you were beautiful a boss right yeah. before they <laughs> murder me. I can't believe we've been, we've been quoting Bach's mom this whole time. I know, isn't that You're nice? Beautiful. You're beautiful. Uh, okay. What a beautiful quest line. So we finished box quest. Joy's going up. Oh, I can sit comfortably again. So now we're going to go and continue with Ronnie's quest line. Ronnie. One of, one of the big ones. We've been putting it off for a while, but it's time to go and, uh, and complete uh, what we can of Ronnie's quest line before, you know, the end of the game. Do you think I could convince my brother to name his next kid Ronnie? Yeah. Is he going to have another kid? I think so. They're going to have a third one? I believe so. I think that's the, the plan. That's the hope. Damn, they wild for, for that. Yeah. <laughs> True ending of the game telling Baki's beautiful. Everything else is filler. Yeah, we can stop playing now. This has been the all quest lines run mm -hmm. of Elden Ring. Are y'all married yet? Yeah. Yeah, we're married yet. We're, we're married yet. We're married yet. We're married yet. Look at Joy. Just wanted to snag this grace. Joy's <laughs> leaning with her head just like crammed on the side of the microphone stand. I'll take a picture of those too. Specific ending you're going for? Um, I'll, I'll probably do the Ronnie ending. Uh, Super Waste, would you mind moving your mic closer, Julia, please? How dare you? Just uh, talk into that boy. I got you boosted higher than me, but it's <laughs> not I, enough. I go away from my microphone. Yeah. I feel like the Ronnie ending is the best one if people are just going to see the one ending. And if they don't know, like any of the other endings. So that's that's probably what we're going to do. I did do Flame of Frenzy on my first playthrough, yes. All right, so now we're going to go to the third tower over here, the one that we had not been to yet. We've been to Ronnie's tower and we've been to Celevis's nasty tower, but we've not been to this one. This one here. And before, uh, when we came out of the gate, earlier in the game, we came out from there after we fought Loretta. Mm -hmm. You can see that this tower is sealed, but now it is no longer sealed. With Ronnie gone, it is no longer sealed. And this one's Rena's Rise. What do you have to say? Sorcerer ahead? No sorcerers ahead. What are you talking about? What is the Poo Poo Man's ending? The Poo Poo Man's ending is like the worst ending. It's a little, little item over here. I follow the... Uh the creator of one of the, the devs for Signalis. Oh, we get her Ron, outfit. Ronnie's outfit. I love that she keeps it in a hard to get to chest. Um. Anyway, they were saying that they see a lot of people, or they were watching a stream and people were saying good or bad ending, like referring to the endings like that. Uh -huh. And they were like, that makes me sad. They're all just different. They're not good or bad. Yeah. They got upset about people saying good or bad ending. It's just like a different way to end the story. Yeah. Poo poo ending sucks. I mean, it's it's pretty funny. So at the top of Rena Rise, 
That sounds like a, a roller coaster at Universal or something. Rinna's Rise. There's a transporter that teleports us to another place. I also would like to see uh, Geraldine Slay with the, the Ronnie hat, if you don't mind. Yeah, I can do this for you. Whoa, pretty. So it warps us here to the Ainsell River main. Should we look on our map, we are underground somewhere. Dan, Dan. Is the best that we can know about it at this time. And then right over here. Are these all the bugs? Is miniature Ronnie. What the hell? <laughs> what? You thought we weren't gonna get a miniature Ronnie. What let's, the hell? Let's can take you decorate a look. your room with it? <laughs> take a look at mini Ronnie. Where is she? Is she a key item? Miniature Ronnie, are you a key item? Yeah. Doll resembling Ronnie the witch. But not that kind of doll. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. That's how I would like to be. I'd like to be pleasantly cool. Me? I'm pleasantly cool. I would describe her as pleasantly cool. <laughs> Funko Pop Ronnie. <laughs> uh, and we will go ahead and put on the Ronnie hat. There she is. Oh, when you get easily sunburned, but your friends want to go to the beach. <laughs> but of course we have to wear the hat of our our late husband. Yeah. The prawn man. So then we go to this grace here. And we rest. And we have this option, talk to miniature Ronnie. Is that a dragon over there? What is moving? It's like a freaking bug or something, who cares? All right. It's not, it's one of those upside down spitty gems. Oh yeah, okay, sorry. But miniature Ronnie doesn't say anything. So you have to talk to her repeatedly. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Dance. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Bro, what are you even talking about? Perform for me. Eliminate the name of Rai will not. I didn't sully shit. You sullied yourself. Little Ronnie. You're just as mean as big Ronnie. Ronnie's <laughs> gonna find out about fucking Toy Story. She's gonna lose her damn mind. <laughs> I love how she was like, how could anyone recognize me in this disguise that looks exactly like me? A perfect replication. <laughs> yeah. Who talks to dolls? I don't know. I... I'd introduce you to a certain pervert, but he's dead. Yeah, he was a big doll talker. I don't want you messing with me, dude. Nice. Got him on the third strike. I'm twirling on his ass. So yeah, there's this big upside down spitty fella. Oh, I love the, the, uh, I love the underground. All these statues just underground. Very cool. Damn. You can't hit me, you can't hit me. You sure did. Ow. <laughs> Get rid of these fellas. Don't bubbles at me. <laughs> I did it so slowly. <laughs> Their bubbles are really slow, but they do like a lot of damage. This is bad. Just kidding, it's fine. I love the upside down dudes, they're so weird. I'm gonna come beat your ass, dude. It was a curse to be this huh. long. He's swinging. Huh. Oh, 
Oh, you piece. Uh oh, are you falling? Little dangler. That's why you don't mess with me. Yeah, I'll take that somber smithing stone. Hey, I have a question for you. Yeah. Did we defeat the big dog sentinel? No. Are we going to encounter the big dog sentinel? Not naturally. Big dog sentinel is a completely optional boss. Yeah, I just didn't know since we were doing optional things if he would like pop up in one of our, you know, quests. No, but if you want to see big dog sentinel, we can go and find one. We don't have to, I just don't. Well, I know how much you love. I wish you didn't get knocked back the exact amount that put you out of range for my follow-up attack. That guy was rolling. See, look at that. Just out of range. How annoying. Yeah, we'll go find a dog at some point. Okay. What are you doing? Here I come. Damn. Dude was just trying to pee. All right, I'm trying to remember exactly where to go here. Big nasty plant. What's this? Oh God. Lots of plants. Get out of there, Scoob. I don't want no part of this. I will be picking up the smithing stones. Let's see, is it just through the gate? The weird statue cats that go chop. Yeah, that's what Julia's talking about. Yeah. That's her fave. Frick you. Seven, seven, seven. Oh, yeah. I think we just go machine. this way. Also, a uh, content warning bugs. Content warning big ant. There's gonna be a lot of big ants. But also, content warning, I'm very strong. Bro. Content warning, potentially also big uncles. Oh, I really like this area. It's very pretty. Let me go through these doors. Yeah, Noxtella. Mm hmm The other eternal city. Don't you Noxtella. She's a friend and a partner. Um, we don't actually have to do anything in Noxtella. Oh, that's fine. It's like all completely side stuff. As long as we can see it. We can look at it. We're going to go under it. But I actually, I think I need to go back the other way. There's a map fragment somewhere. My heart. And I need to get the map fragment. It's like where the merchant is. Is there anything over here? No, that's a fall to your death. I know that. I know what that looks like. Hey, did either of you watch any AGDQ speed runs? Jacob literally discovered today that we missed it. Yeah. So we will be watching them going forward. Yeah, we're gonna go back and watch some, some ones of them, but I missed the entire stream. Isn't there like a way you go? Isn't there like a way you go? The way we go. I thought I remember there being... Do I have to go past Noxtella? Am I just like a silly guy? 
I'm reading chat to see if anyone says anything. Oh! oh! Well, this is why you gotta watch where you're going. You gotta go left by the ants. So not, not, not that. Not down not the Not that one that I just did. Is not down there. Well, at least I've ruled that out. I ruled out that location. Every day we're an explorer. And every day we learn something new. And every day is a winding road. Every day is a winding road. What's this item? What are you guarding? Give it to me. Oh, it's human bone shards. Definitely worth guarding. Just gonna sneak back over here real quick and grab these runes. Coin left at Albuquerque. Don't mind me. Just gonna grab that. There's kind of a lot of runes. Who's blasting you? It's the plant. Oh, the plant. You know how the plant is. Yeah, I hate the plant. The plant sucks, man. Excuse me, fellas. You can roll around here all you like. Don't mind me. I'm not here to ruin your fun. Please keep rolling. It's so weird how this water like doesn't really flow down this hill yeah. in the way that you'd think it would, which is like with a little more aggression. Uh, content warning, giant ant. Content warning, giant ant. Content warning, another giant ant. I love that this game is like, this is a centipede man with an eyeball for his skull. He hangs from the ceiling and he shoots uh, lasers at you and then he eats you with his pincer, but his face is also a human skull. And here's an ant. Here's, here's an ant. ant. This one's an ant. And you ever seen a bug's life? Oh God, what the fuck? You got got by- Why did he do so much damage? By the bigger ant. With what the, the hell? Shield, with the shield. Why did he do so much damage? <laughs> what was that about? I think it's actually quicker to go from here. I wasn't expecting that ant to do 100% of my existing health. Man, there's these freaking ant riders. The ants hit hard, dude. They're ants! They got they can hold ten times their own weight. Right before that happened, I was about to say how much I liked the shield ants, because I thought they're really funny. And then one killed you. And then one killed me, and now I don't I don't feel quite so much like I like them anymore. Oh, someone said you got backstabbed by the ant. Backstabbed? I didn't get backstabbed. All right, we're gonna juke him, Justin. You like that? Nice. <laughs> There's the T-pose guy. Mr. T, pose. Oh yeah, this is where I was trying to get to. There's another one of these freaking guys. What are you doing? Stop it. Is he, um... He had one of those... Those little space door handles around his neck. Space door handles? The big circular one with like a little... Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I do know what you mean. He was one of those guys. Are there? Are they sorcerers or what? Not sorcerers, but the... There's a legendary weapon here. Oh my god! Like, use a professional dodgeball player. I'm a professional... Justin. Alright, so we go down right here. Carefully. Very carefully. And we, we end this man's whole career. Whoa! 
bro. Come here, you fucker. Oh god. Oh no, please. No, please. Incredible. Well, it hurt when he did what he did to me to me. That's to, have to hurt when you get bonked in your big crystal eyeball. Although, do crystals have nerve endings? I don't know, do they? I don't know, do they? <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty sure I go down here. And then I go under here. Under yes. Where? Yes. <laughs> Julia, you shut your mouth. <laughs> it's it. And then here's the map. <coughs> and then you get to wonder what the fuck this dude's been doing down here. You know, down here playing his little instrument. With his Underneath the area where that thing was dangling. Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? What do you even have? Oh, you got the prisoner iron mask. Yeah. It's a pretty good one. This yes. is not good enough. This stuff you have for you to be down here. But the helmet, the helmet. Um, and we did get the wing of Astel. <laughs> Astel. Or Estelle, as I'm gonna say from now on. <laughs> this was one of my main weapons on my first playthrough. Its skill is really, really strong. But I don't have the intelligence to use it on this build. Mm -hmm. You dumb. Should we do a brick now since we're like. Oh, now? fine. Fine. We'll do an ad break because Julia said we had to. And I'm, she said, Jacob, do an ad break right now, you fool. Gundam wing ass tail. I'm running ads. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, you know those like Wheel of Fortune puzzles of the before and after? Yeah. Gundam wing wing ass tail. It's the wing of Estelle. Gundam wing ass tail. You're just saying Gundam Wing ass tell. <laughs> you said it. A stupid joke, Jacob. <laughs> I think you need to leave the stream and recollect yourself. Uh, we did see Megan. We did see Mithrigan. We saw Mithrigan, um last night. It was really good. Really stupid, really fun. Uh, I had a great time watching it. That's my opinion. It was very fun, but it did hit two unfortunate things that I hate. But it... Bless you. You okay? She's just huffing and chuffing. But it didn't, like, ruin the quality of the movie. It's just, like... Things I don't enjoy. What, yeah, what's the second one? Um, bratty kids. Oh, yeah. I don't want to interact with bratty kids, so why am I spending my you limited don't like free time kids in media. watching? I'm like, I'm going to go to the movies. It's one of the few times I'm going to go to the movies. Now I'm going to the movies to see a bratty kid. It's not how I want to waste my movie time. That's fair. But the movies were really fun, and I still really liked them. Or the, liked it. The movies? The movies. <laughs> <laughs> I love There's seeing the pictures. Them. There's at three the, of them. Me The moving picture show. There, to be fair, there are multiple pictures to make up a movie. But you're not wrong. It is a lot of pictures moving yeah. very rapidly. So, technically... Will I be summoning again before stream ends? Will you be um, ready? Ready to be summoned? To be summoned? Yeah, I'll be summoning again. Just you wait. Probably. Yeah, I'll be summoning again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah! Did you guys see Strange World? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Is it the world we're living in? Familiar faces. Strange enough for me, this world. Is that what they call like the Stranger Things universe? What does the three and Megan mean? They do explain that. They do. Her and name's it, like an acronym. It made us laugh out loud in the movies. Yeah. But I don't remember what the acronym was now. It's a new Disney movie that got zero marketing. I've literally not heard about it at all. Troopy. So they really didn't market it. Troopy the Dragon 24 says, hello, this is my first stream. My boyfriend got me into you guys, so I'm happy we get to watch. Hi, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining. Glad you could be here. Yeah. Is Megan a comedy movie? It's like a comedy horror. Yeah. It's like intentionally funny and also intentionally scary. It very much knows what it's doing. Yeah. Uh, we're back to the game. Let's go. The ads are over. Also, to be fair, Jacob and I don't watch anything. We say this all the time, but it it's still true. Still true. We're bad watchers. We saw Mothrigan because a friend of ours wanted to go see it. No, I wanted to go well, see it. Well, you wanted to go see it. And also, you had a friend who equally wanted to see it and said we should go together. And that, you know, encouraged you to actually yeah. go see it. Yeah. So I know there's like a grace down here that I want to swing by and grab. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Where's the grace? Grace Kelly, where are you? I'm looking for the gra- I'm actually just looking for the grace. Grace Kelly, I want to talk to you. Is the- is the is it oh no don't roll at me don't stop i just wanted the grace i didn't i didn't mean for this how did it end up like this it was only a kiss up the elevator the elevator wasn't there could I even call the elevator down? Wall lever. Just heard Grace Kelly by Mika. Yeah. That's what I was referencing. I wasn't. And I don't, I'm not going to. Cause the song starts off with him saying, I wanna talk to you. It's been eons since I've listened to that song. It's been. That one too. Where's the wall? Oh, there's uh, the wall lever. On the, the wall. Lever. Don't come in here, okay? Don't come in here. I'm serious. I'm serious, dude. Don't come in here. I'm serious. I'm serious. That's it. Damn. I warned him. You did give him warnings, yeah. According to my dad, you know, three, three warning hell? rule. How'd you get here so fast? Grace? Great. Grace! Hey, good to see you. Why don't I do a little level up? A cheeky level up. Use some of these points. Okay. Now we're going back to Noxtella. And we can look at it as we run past it. <laughs> My least favorite No Doubt album. What is? Noxtella. 
Okay, and what is it really? <laughs> it's rock steady. Rock steady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk to Ronnie, please? Yeah. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Empyrean of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika to become the new god of the coming age, which is when I received Blythe in the form of a vassal tailored for an Empyrean. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the rune of death, slew mine own Empyrean flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. Hey, fuck you. And the baleful shadows are their assassins. I, I turned my back on the two the baleful. I go like ahead. that you go, I, hey Ryan, we haven't spoken in a while. What's going on? And she's like, let us talk of the past. And you're like, oh, I was once an Empyrean. Yeah, and I was like, okay, like, yeah, 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 uh -huh. all right. Okay. Glad I asked. All right, I feel like this ant guy is going to really fuck up my whole shit if I don't kill him. Can the two fingers flip you off? Fuck you. Fuck you. Damn, got him. I don't think two fingers can flip you off. There's no middle finger. Unless they do it like the British way, you know? Oh, that's true. Like, hey. Don't. They gotta do like the motion. Don't. Ants and goop. Everybody, leave warning. me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Please. Yeah, there's goop. Please. <laughs> I don't even want to be here. I don't want to be in goop stream. Someone in chat said that friend who always trauma dumps, and I thought they meant like literal, like when they have anxiety over past trauma, they have to poop. They have to poop. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm definitely going the wrong way. <laughs> This area I don't remember as well as some of the other areas. As a Brit, we use the middle finger too. Yeah, but we call this the British one because no one else uses this except for British hooligans in soccer games, which is where I saw it just this weekend when I was watching Nottingham Forest play against freaking Leicester or whatever. Leave me alone. And then someone scored and the whole Nottingham Forest crowd was doing the two fingers. So don't Go. come at me, you know what I mean. You ass. I don't know if they were coming at you. You ass. How dare you attack Julia? Watch the Nottingham Forest game and you'll see the crowd start doing the two fingers that no one else does except for British people. Why did you physically attack Julia on stream? Okay, so this is, we're getting into some real cool shit here. I'll say it. We can talk to Ronnie again. Ronnie! Even when I turned my back upon the two fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for an Empyrean, he was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers, Blythe and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me, yet they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path, that I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before? Ah. Should I add thee to the list? Another one, kind of heart. As kind of heart as they. When you decide you have to cut out family from your life, toxic family, I must betray everyone and everything. <laughs> Except in this case, Ronnie's the toxic family, cutting sure. herself out. Yeah. Ah, this form hath loosened my tongue. 
I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget. I'm not gonna forget. I've let slip forget. I'm gonna remember, actually. All right. The way that your hammer just appears. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, where am I keeping that shit? So now we head further south and we will see something familiar, but not quite familiar. I don't want to deal with any of y'all, oh. to be honest. Are those the basilisks? Yeah. So this is, oh, this place. It's very red. Oh, Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the witch come. Oh no! Drain thy flesh with a fateful wound, ne'er to heal. I thought you were gonna say, "Oh shit!" Oh shit! Thou art the last. Oh shit! It's you. Don't heal. That's so cringe, bro. One hand that. The hammer hollow on the inside. You missed. You fired and you missed. Oh shit. You didn't miss. Come on. Hit him with a your beautiful. Come on. Here I come. No, what? That was such dog shit, dude. That was such dog shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, damn. That was actual dog shit. I was cheated. I was robbed and cheated. You're getting some really fancy Fs in the chat. I deserve fancy Fs. That was, um, that was wild. I played it right and the game decided that my hit didn't count. It was a dog hit. <laughs> Let's do it right this time. That's what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hold them. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Discarded palace key. So E.G. Ronnie says hi. She also says she loves you. Everything's cool. <laughs> Don't it's worry fun. about Don't her. Don't worry about her. It's all good. She's go she's just she'll be right back. I promise. Content warning, cool area. Alert. Lake of Rot. Cool, also bad area. What do you think it smells like in here? Probably bad, if I had to guess. Yeah. All right, well, we should go tell Blythe and E.G. But not yet. First, we need to go back to Rhea Lucaria Library because we got the key to that chest that you asked about earlier. Oh my God. You, you didn't realize you were setting me up. Yeah so that we could knock him down. I'm good at this. I'm good, da ba dee da ba da and da ba dee da ba da Can I make the chat um, divisive against me yet again? If you want to. That, the new version of that song that's out, I hate it. Uh, it's probably not gonna be that divisive. It's like objectively worse than the original one. Just play the original, it's fine. You can go back and listen to the old music again. So we open the chest with the key and what do we get? The dark moon ring. Are we married? Let's, let's take a look at the ring. But also I'm not shaming anyone that enjoys that song. You're free to like whatever you like. I am shaming them. <laughs> 
Ring depicting a leaden full moon, symbolic of a cold oath. The ring is supposed to be given by Lunar Princess Rani to her consort. Rani is an Empyrean, meaning her consort would by rights earn the title of Lord. A warning is engraved within. Whoever thou mayest be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. So she's like, listen, I don't want to get married, but they're forcing me to like buy this ring for any future. Potential. Yeah, so I'm locking it away in a chest. I'm not planning on using it, but. And we're back. I will say for anyone who likes that song, I love plenty of songs that other people hate. So, you know, it's I, fine. I don't. Jacob Every only... song I love, everyone loves, and every song I hate, everyone hates. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That is pretty amazing. I just don't want anyone to think I'm actually coming for them, because I'm not. And I am. <laughs> I am coming for you. It might take me a while to reach you, but it could be years from now, but at some point I'm gonna show up and you're gonna know why. Just wanted to see if I could get enough to level up. That's not enough. Just a little bit more. Jacob is arriving for you. That's, is that enough? That's not enough. <laughs> By like 200. This is enough. 4 Estelle, should we drop our signs by the stake of America? Yeah, that'd probably be the right spot to do it. Take a little more vigor. And then we will make our way across the Lake of Rot. This is why we have Flame Cleanse Me for moments like this. I love the hint of the doors over there. Yeah, isn't that so Just cool? Just enough for you, so you know that there's something beyond and you should go exploring. Yeah, I love that visual so much. And the area that's next after this is one of my favorites visually. Go, 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 go. That's the wrong button. So we can use these batons to make these platforms. No, I don't care about you. It's also like a good, uh, I'm, st I'm still on the doors. So yeah, totally, go ahead. Um, the thing with the, uh, with the doors is also like a good lesson on like, in art you can and should cheat a little bit if it makes your piece look good. You know, like you don't have to stay completely accurate to how like lighting would work, you know? Yeah. Like how is that being lit like that? It's probably not but they're cheating it so that you can see it. They're cheating it because it's really cool. Because it's really cool, and how else would you know to traverse this horrible lake that kill you? We're going, we're going for it. Damn. You're can you take it all the way? Hard. Can you take it all the way? Shove him Disneyland lighting? Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it, yeah. Hup. Like, it looks good as hell. Cheat it. Cleanse my ass. Flame cleanse my ass. And it doesn't look so cheated that it looks totally unnatural. I'm gonna put my weapon away so we can see better. Because <laughs> I love this area. The it's Grand Cloisters. Yeah, maybe like some trypophobia content warning here. I would oh, say yeah. definitely actually some trypophobia <laughs> content warning yeah. here. But look at how freaking cool. I love like the giant statue you can barely see. And you just see all these torches and... Is and this it's the like, place where you were hiding a lot? because everything was very scary and hit hard. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And there's the waterfall of rot. 
Exactly. There's even items down there because, of course, there are. All right, kids, we have to be real fast. Jump out of the car. I'm not supposed to be parking <laughs> here, but get out, take your pictures of the waterfall of rot, and then get back into the car. Okay? Don't stand there too long. And look both ways before you cross the road. People be whipping around this corner. You will get the scarlet rot. You will get the scarlet rot. Don't touch the water. But do take your pictures and get in. I saw someone saying that they don't understand how anyone could follow the story in this game. They were halfway through when someone told them to look at item descriptions. Uh, it's, it's better when playing these games to not think about it in those terms. You're not supposed to really follow the story when you play it the first time. You're supposed to just like experience what you experience Feel organically. It. Yeah. And like follow sort of your own exploratory desires and like get out of it whatever you get like you get like snatches of things here and there and it makes it very compelling mm. and then if you want to after that you can like look for things you missed and go back like i'm doing now to experience more of it yeah and get a more concrete story but i always think the best part of these games is playing them the first time and not knowing what's going on and just being like this is so cool and weird and i don't know why mm -hmm. but that makes it seem like more real because in real life, I often see things that are cool or weird, and I don't know why. Yeah. It's basically my favorite way to play a video game is to is to feel it first, and then you, you go uh, and go in with no information, not looking for any information, just have fun, enjoy, experience it, and then go back later. And, like, start looking for things or look up YouTube videos or something. Yeah, totally. So we are making a run. All the bugs here are worshiping the statue. Someone just says, I just waited for Vati to make videos about it. Yeah. So if you run over here, there's a coffin. And in a Souls game, when there's a coffin that's open, you get in it. It's simply what you do. I mean, why wouldn't you? You get in and you close it. Whee! What the hell was that? I just wanted to take a nap. I was just trying to take a snooze in the coffin. I'm blue, yabba dee da ba da. Well, it's more like teal. I'm teal, yabba dee da ba da. Yabba teal. And then this area again, so cool. Mm -hmm. I love the glowing fungus. I love the drippies coming off. Yeah. Of it. I think that's a real fungus. I think it is too. The little glow. What do call glow something? I wish you could get back in the coffin and it would show it going back up the waterfall <laughs> and depositing you. Uh, and this leads us to a very cool boss. Sometimes in life you have to get in the coffin and ride the waterfall of rot into the cool glow cave. That's just how it is. To this very cool boss. Uh, so we will be summoning here. Who we got? Harleen Quinzel. My God. <laughs> also with a big hammer. Harley Quinn is here with a big hammer. And then we have Thesis Thimbo. <laughs> Thesis Thimbo, welcome. Harleen And, and we're both Quinzel. wearing the freaking goofball outfit. Yeah! Beautiful. 
Girl Squad. Girl Squad. Oh, and you got two bonkers. Oh, nice. It's a bonk squad. Girl Squad, bonk squad. Oh, Jesus. Runcible, you said you prefer when a game has a clear story you're following. That's what makes you want to keep playing. That's fair. That's fair. It's just a difference of um, different what you appreciate. Strokes for different folks. If it doesn't vibe with you, you don't, it, you don't have to make it vibe with you. For, I love for me, a vague story. For me, a vague story is my mm. perfect vibe. And so these games do it the best of any of them. A story I got a piece together. Love it. Okay, I need to flame grant me strength. There's no grace down here. Drink my juice. There's no grace down here. That sucks. Drink this juice. Oh, we got the freaking golden vow. Let's go. And this boss is so cool looking. Yeah, oh the, God. The area is so good too. You don't need to laser me, I don't think. He's just one of those danglers, but, <sighs> but purple and blue. And like planetary. I'm, I'm gonna reach you in a second and it's gonna be a problem for you. I Ouch. also love the song in here. What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't see you, what are you doing? Get up! Beautiful colors. I'm in danger. No! Put me down, bro! No, okay, not like that. Oh my god. I'm living in hell. No, just hit him! He's warping. I'm one-handing. I'm stupid. I'm alive. How? <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> this is not going well. I don't think this is going to be the victory. I don't think this is going to be the victory royale. Your friends are fighting so hard. Wow. Oh. Them bow just took a huge hit. This is it for me. This is absolutely oh, it for beautiful. me. This is absolutely it for me! You lived! I lived, bitch. I can't hit you, you're a little too high. Excuse me. Uh, no! No! Harleen! What, what is glowing? What is glowing? I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Mes amis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll summon again. Olive's literally on the edge of her seat. We got it this time. Wait, who is that? Oh my God. Wow. Bofia, you're set up. That. Is that a head with two finger with fingers coming out the mouth? It's what is the that? fire, the fire breathing head. Oh yeah, okay. Dorcas. Dorcas. You have the plainest sword I've ever seen, and you look like me. Wow. Look at you. That shield is silly. This looks like a freaking monster hunter setup. The big gun it does. lance. Yeah, you're so right. It looks like a gun lance build. Dorcas, does that normal sword, is that gonna do it? <laughs> do you think that normal sword's gonna be able to do it? I believe in Dorcas. I'm worried about the sword, it's just, you know, it's just sort of a, oh my God. Tools do not make the man. All right. Okay. No, I, I believe you. I believe in you. You did great. Uh... Harleen and Thembo. Yeah, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. It was me. And the fact that I didn't have enough healing flasks. Let's do it. We appreciate all that you've done. All right. We dodged the first one. Easy. We dodged 
dodge the tail whip. We dodge the second tail whip. I love this design. We hit so the hand. Much. Don't do it. <laughs> you did it. His pincers kind of give him a robotnik face sometimes. Get out of there. Always doing the explode, the explodums. Hit your ass! Dorcas is doing. Do him, Dorcas. Dorcas is thriving? No. I refuse to be involved in that situation. The issue we're facing right now is one of damage <laughs> to being dealt. The hammer is just obnoxious. Yeah, that's the point. Stop. Stop. I missed. Yeah, I'm not. Dorcas is going for the ankles. A little, little flippy fella. Where are you going, flippy fella? Like a mosquito. Oh, no. Are you oh. going to do the thing? What about this? Right in the face. Don't, don't do it to me. I don't want it to be done to me. It was done to them. Headshot. <laughs> that, maybe that wasn't the time. Oh, he's doing it. This isn't gonna hit me. What did Come I tell on, you? Messiah. What did I tell you halfway through? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Get in there. Do a hit. Hit something! No, no, no. No, no, no. No, Bathaya, get up! Who is dangerous out there? Hit him! Little, little no, no, dragon no. wings. Get out of there! I don't know what to do about that. Like, what do you... How do you avoid that happening to you? I genuinely don't know the answer. I do need to be topped up, though, at all times in case that happens. I is about to be gone. I think Bathai is out of flasks. I did a little heal. Get out of there. We take our hits to the old town road. Yeah! Go! Let's go! Driving and surviving. Yes, gamers. You get one of these for sure. My mind is blown by your performance. Thank you both. Thank you both so much. For your efforts this day. Incredible. I never should have doubted Dorcas, you're right. That's my fault. To doubt Dorcas, shameful. Mm -hmm. I didn't even pick up my runes, I was so confident. <laughs> I'm not gonna die again, that's impossible. Uh, okay, it's almost time to stop, but I have one more thing I'd like to do. Like pick up your runes? Yeah, I'm gonna pick up my runes, okay? Okay? I'm gonna pick them up. Here's a little more endo. I'm there! I just feel like there's one last thing that will be a good end cap to this segment. Okay. It wasn't that many runes, actually. It was very few runes. It's all right. So we didn't see this last time, Julia, because I didn't have the Dark Moon Ring that lets us take this lift. The wedding, sir. 
Are you going to the wedding venue? We're going to the wedding venue. Ronnie's invited all our friends. Oh my God, what are we having for dinner? Who's catering? We're we getting pizza? I hope we're getting pizza. We rising. Is it Umberto's? Oh my God, it is a wedding venue. What the hell? It's the Moonlight Altar. That's joking. So cool. It's so cool, I want to die. Hello. Good old wedding pizza. A lot of people have pizza at the wedding. It's a good food to have at your wedding. A lot of people have pizza at the wedding. <laughs> yeah. That's like a very many people are saying this. <laughs> many people thing. are saying this. Many people are having pizza at the wedding. I don't actually want to. I love that she put, she so doesn't want to get married, she put a giant glintstone dragon outside. She's like, mm-mm, don't. How about we don't? I think there's enough starlight shards over here. Yeah, and didn't Selen, she was like, thank you for finding my buddy. Here's a present for me. I've been keeping this safe, and it was that One thing. starlight shard. Did they come here and they're like fucking everywhere? Then we come over here. I had pizza at my wedding, it ruled. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I got nothing against it. We rose up so that we could rise down this hole. You know, downward rising. Yeah, I think that's a Metal Gear game. <laughs> downward rising. Here's world. a dead two fingers. Much bigger than our two fingers. Killed with the rune of death. Who put their summon sign here? <laughs> and here's Ronnie. Oh no, here she is. So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other. Once more. I tested you by being a real piece of shit to you for so long, and yet you persisted. You married me anyways. Wow, dedication. You I ready think. for this? It's the Dark Moon Greatsword. Is this our new weapon? Look at all these summon signs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our new weapon, but... This is the, um, the From Software staple weapon. They have one of these in almost every game they've ever made, including Armored Core. Yeah. They have a Moonlight Greatsword. Oh, I remember you telling me that. 
Ah, uh, that's it, cool. There's one in Bloodborne. There's one in every Dark Souls. And it's always cool. Someone said you should go back up so I can see the two moons or whatever. Two moons? Something like that? I don't know. I'll show you the two moons. Yay! It's called my butt. Oh my god. That girl's like, I was really trying to be, you know that rom-com or that, that, what is it called? How to lose a guy in seven days or whatever. I was trying to do that, but you're still here and you're still married to me. Anyway, I gotta go. Bye. I'm going to space. I don't want to go in the hole. Where you cannot follow. Where's the two moons? I saw some behind you. Yeah, over there. Probably over here with... We're at the view with the viewers. The viewers? The viewers. The viewers? This thing. The starlight viewing thing. You know what I'm talking about. I see one moon. Yeah, it was this other moon. You gotta make sure it's night though. Oh my god. Oh, there's that a oh, moon. Oh, there's that moon. That looks like a moon. That looks like a moon. That looks like two moons. That's a moon. And that's, that's a, moon. a moon. That's a tree. That's grass. That's a rock. Go take a look over here. Wow. Oh, it's Rhea Lucaria. Is that Rhea Lucaria? It is. Absolutely beautiful. Just like us. Why does it look like we got a little smile on right now? <laughs> We're happy. We just got married. <laughs> we found a wife and she's, she's so good to she's us. like, I never thought we'd get over our, our boyfriend's death, prawn man. But here we are. We're getting married. Some said it was too soon. I said not soon enough. This is us now. Wow. And with the big hammer, we're not going to be able to see anything on the screen between this hat and this hammer. <laughs> Wow. We're married. We started and ended the stream with Elden Ring proposal. Wow. I'm a clairvoyant. I'm so good. But that's going to be Yay. it for this stream. We had such a nice arc in this one, I feel. Joy just punched me and then left. Yeah, she'll do that. We Anyways, won. we had such a nice arc in this one, I we feel. We did, yeah, it was good. <laughs> I'm just so happy for Bach. Yeah, me too. We got Bach worked out. We got Selen became a big ball of heads. And we got married. It's very nice. <laughs> Does the marriage still hold if she went to the skies? Yes. Marriage always holds no matter where you go. Do astronauts not stay married when they go to the space station? I mean, I don't know, but I think they do still stay married. But thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. This was a fun one. Mm -hmm. We'll be back Sunday with something. Yeah. Something Sundays, we're calling it. Not One Arm Chef because it made Jacob sick. Because it made me nauseous. Maybe we'll do more tier lists. Who knows? It uh, all depends on what Julia wants to do on, on the night, yeah. on the day. And then, um, yeah. Yeah. Drawfee Draw Class is Friday. If you're in the Draw Class tier. Oh my God, that's right. And... That's it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah. We appreciate it. We will see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.